I'm Peter Brown from Tiny and Sons Glass. Tiny and Sons Glass was established in 1978 when my father and brother and I were at 575 Washington Street in Pembroke. We're certified and qualified to do all your windshield replacement and repair. Tiny and Sons Glass is a community-based business. We have 12 mobile vans that come to you. If the weather's bad, you can come here to the shop. We have a nice waiting area, TV, Wi-Fi, kid-friendly, pet-friendly. Um, received a couple of calls lately, and I'll, I'll just explain this and try to be as brief as I can, but um, we've had a couple of calls about people having water in the cellar that are on Furnace Pond. And um, we've been trying to hold the water level a little higher this year than normal because of losing so much water last year and we weren't able to get the fish out in the fall. So we've, um, we've not only for that reason, but also for a reason that the fish came up this year, a uh, group of fish, uh, heron came up and went into the bog at um, Mattakees at McQuan Street, which is, that bog is on the same level as the pond level is on Furnace Pond. So if we were to drop the water considerably on Furnace Pond, the water would drop quite a bit in the bog area, and the fish have um, have already spawned in the cranberry bog in all of the ditches. There was so many fish this year that they filled up the dish, ditches in the bog, and um, and they actually spawn in the bog. So there's there's a lot of fish that are in the bog that need to come out. So. We've been monitoring that and trying to keep the level of the water as high as we can in the ditches over there. We're also working with the Hanson uh, uh, Conservation Commission and the Pembroke Conservation Commission and the town DPW um, over uh, monitoring the bog and keeping this bog at a certain level. So we've you know, been lowering the water. We started yesterday lowering the water. Um, at the dam on Furnace Pond, and I know there was a couple people that have water in their cellar, but um, we've uh, lowered the water to some point now, and within the next day or two, it should be a lot lower. Uh, but we don't want to go too low this year. Um, we've contacted the Division of Marine Fisheries. The head of the Pembroke Fisheries is, is apprised of what's going on also, and we're trying to set up a meeting with, with uh, Brockton, um, and everybody else that's concerned with, the, with, this, with this matter. Um, so hopefully we, we can get this straightened out um, in the near future. The other problem we have is that if we allow Brockton to divert, which we stopped them from diverting um, last month because of the problems that we had with the fish going down into Silver Lake. So, um, the Division of Marine Fisheries is is stated that they will donate all the um, engineering part of it and all that. And if Brockton buys the um, supplies and the things that are needed, then the Division of Marine Fisheries will do the repair work or the engineering to fix what's been broken for a long time, which has allowed the fish to go into Silver Lake. So. We're in the process of trying to get all of that fixed and also trying to get a uh, net from Brockton, which is over $500, to put in before we get to the diversion pipe so that we won't have any juveniles getting stuck on the diversion pipe when they open it up and get, and get stuck on the screen that, that's there. So um, it's kind of a complicated uh, thing, but I can just... Uh, ask everybody that is having a little water in the cellar to just bear with us. We're on top of everything that we're doing. We're we're trying to do the best that we can. Um, we don't want to drop the water level too low because um, it could affect the fish in the bog area. Um, and when those fish are ready to come out, then we'll pull the planks again. And we've asked Hanson for water and they've agreed to supply us with more water that we should be able to run through the bog out into um, Furnace Pond to uh, get the fish out of that bog. So, so that's basically what it's all about. So just bear with us a little bit, and uh, eventually we'll get that all fixed. So that's all I have on that. So, and Lou